guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm doing a very special collaboration with I think it's about 20 ladies at last count when I last um, went through the list. Uh, and we are doing breast cancer awareness and we're doing a pink look to, um, you know, discuss breast cancer and how it's affected our lives and what you can do at home to help yourself uh, with this topic. And the person who created this collaboration is Clara from Clara Barrera Beauty um, or Clara. Sorry, I can't remember the pronunciation right now. But she is just, she's a lovely, lovely person. She recently reached a thousand subscribers and um, I'm so proud of her. And I am so overjoyed to have been invited to do this collaboration um, and to try and do this cause justice uh, today and what I'm going to do for you. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I will be using the ColourPop Ooh La palette today. I think it's the best palette for this look uh, because it's a pink monochromatic palette. So um, we're going to dive into a few of those shades and see what we can come up with. You know, as usual, I just go for it. I don't really have um, a set look that I'm going for or anything like that. So I'm obviously going to keep it more towards the pink colors in this palette. But yeah, we're just going to head straight into it. And I'm just taking some of the sandbar shade, which is this one on the far right in the middle. And I'm just going to start wiggling that into the outer part of my eye. So for me, breast cancer hasn't really hit home for me as much. I don't know anyone personally um, who's had it, um, but I know... I think everyone in this collaboration is not Australian um, and I think most of my viewer base is not Australian so I want to share a story of someone who um, had breast cancer who who was in the public eye um, and who was a very young woman as well so um, I'm personally 25 um, and yeah I, she's a she was very young she got diagnosed at 23 so um, this lady is called Belinda Emmett. If you want to learn more about her, you can Google Belinda Emmett on uh, Google. And yeah, she was starring in a very famous soap um, at the time. I th was it Neighbours or Home and Away? I can't remember. But in Australia, we have two like main soap dramas, you know, like you know how the US has Bold and the Beautiful and the UK has Emma Dale or Coronation Street. It's basically the same sort of thing, right? Um, and she was on one of those shows and she was speaking to one of her castmates when she was in a makeup chair one day and she kept saying, oh, I, I feel this lump on, in my breast. Like she wasn't like that bothered. She's like, oh, it'll be fine. And her castmates kept saying to her, I think you really should go get checked out. Like that's some serious stuff maybe, you know what I mean? Um, and she kept sort of just blowing it off like, oh, I don't know. It's just been there for ages. It hasn't really done anything. It hasn't grown or anything, um, yada, yada, yada. And then eventually one day they convinced her to go and get it checked out. And it turns out that it was stage three cancer. Yeah, so breast cancer. Um, and of course, that's obviously shuttered her family. You know, it shuttered her. Um, but she was always like this really positive person. Like I get this vibe from her that she was always like super positive. Um, and she was always like really like optimistic about the whole cancer thing and the diagnosis and everything. So at that time and throughout, she had a very high profile husband as well, um, who was running like one of the top like talk, late at night talk shows at the time. Um, and his name was Rove McManus. And yeah, she, everything looked good. You know, he was obviously being very positive in the public eye about her, condition and things like that 
and she fought for eight years and then eventually like within the last sort of year of her life you could sort of tell that Rove wasn't the same and that Belinda wasn't the same like you got that vibe that something wasn't right um and yeah that that was pretty much that like yeah she passed away um after fighting for eight years and it was such a tragedy like everyone was so upset about it like even people that didn't really know her because they sort of knew her from Rove and being associated with Rove who everyone kind of knew um and yeah it was just such a sad day um all round and one thing she always said and you know that's one thing Rove was saying as well it's like go and get checked ladies go get your breasts checked if something is wrong with your body you need to tell your doctor um and that's the thing in australia we do have free health care for things like that you can go and get a free mammogram or a breast scan or a free breast check with your doctor you know we're very lucky in australia that um i mean not all health care is free and not all doctors um work for free um but it's all through medicare and everything anyway so the, the doctors don't technically work for free but um the government pays for it and even since when she was diagnosed i think she was diagnosed around 2003 something like that or she may have passed around then like i was still quite young when she passed but there's been so many improvements since then even, um, you know, recognizing that breast cancer can happen to anyone, no matter your age. Uh, you know, even if you're not, even if you're under 30, um, they are still recommending that you go and get checked. You know, it's not sort of something that they warn you about, but yeah. And it was quite funny. Very recently I went to my doctor and my doctor, look, my GP is not someone I'm very close with. She, I don't know why, but she's a very, very distant doctor. And I'm actually thinking of changing doctors soon. But she actually brought up something really important in a very weird way. She actually said to me on my last visit, she goes, um, I'm sure I've told you about this before, but um, do you know how to check your breasts? And I go, oh, no, you haven't brought this up with me before. Why? And she goes, um, because breast cancer is on the rise with young women and yeah, if you've got some, a free minute, I can show you. And I said, yeah, sure. So she sort of, she didn't demonstrate on me per se because yeah, she's, she's not the best doctor, but at least she had the common sense to say to me, Hey, this is how you check for, you know, a lump or something that's abnormal. And she explained, you know, what would constitute that and what to check for and um yeah I I sort of changed my mind a little bit on her after that like I was like oh okay so she like it was quite strange because yeah I like a doctor that can be quite personal um and you know show that empathy and she's not really that person she's much she's much more of a hard ass like if I wanted a medical certificate, I wouldn't go to her. Like that's how tough she is. Right. And, um, yeah, I was kind of shocked because she was like showing me something and guiding me through something that I was like, I never would have thought in a million years, this lady would, um, have done that for me. You know what I mean? Like I was just shocked. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. But what I am trying to say is even a doctor like my doctor who questionably isn't the right one for me, um, even she had the common sense to say, look, this is what you need to be doing. Um, and I think that that's quite admirable. Um, yeah, I haven't had a doctor do that for me before. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know, but 
it also brings the point home that I'm 25, right? And I didn't know until like a couple of months ago that that was even a thing. Like I'd heard about it like, oh, you know, self-check your breasts, blah, blah, blah. But I never knew that was something that I had to do at my age. And, you know, like the Belinda Emmett thing happened when I was really young, so I didn't really remember it. Um, and, yeah, like that's sort of what I want to drive home in this collaboration because I'm probably one of the younger people doing this collaboration. And I want to sort of let you guys know that, yeah, like I check my breasts now. Like I'm the one who's making sure that my breasts are doing well. You know what I mean? Like I am making sure um, that I'm checking them, you know, every few months now. And I think it is so important, especially when it's a cancer that you can identify um, in that way. Does that make sense? Because there's a lot of cancers out there that you won't know until you start having proper symptoms, like until you start having nausea or vomiting or, you know, feeling just weird in your body. Whereas with breast cancer and even things like testicular cancer, um, it's something that you can definitely feel for. And you can feel for a lump or an abnormality when it's a lot smaller and a lot more treatable. Like that's something that can definitely be done. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Um, I will talk you through the rest, what I did with the eye look. I'm so sorry. I just, I got really caught up in that. I'm gonna put on the ColourPop Times Disney uh, lipstick and this is in Cinderella. Um, and funnily enough, ColourPop put a post um, on very recently on their uh, Instagram page. What Disney lipstick are you? And I'm a Cancerian. And this was the lipstick that came up. And I already knew I was going to use this for the collab. But I thought, I really want to use it now. <laughs> So there we go. Now I'm just going to take a final look at my eye look before I tell you what I did. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I would have liked a bit more of a colour gradient between these two, but it's so hard because the pinks are actually really similar in colour once you get them on your eyes. Um, so what I did, if I can show it as best I can, um, is I actually had the sandbar on the outer, outer part and then I actually added the candy one because it just wasn't looking deep enough and then I added opulent and then what's this one big sugar um, next to it just to give it the gradient but it didn't really work and then our tickled was the inner corner and then trove was the lower lash line so yeah and as always I usually just finish off my look with essence lash and brow gel mascara so I just did that on my eyes um, and I do that for my brows as well. So that's that. I hope this wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed. Please, if you are from someone else's channel, let me know in the comments. I love to know where people have come from to watch this video. Um, guys, if you are a regular subscriber of mine, please go check out the other 19 girls, might even be more or less than that, um, that are taking part in this collab. I know that with bigger collaborations, it can be... Um, a bit full on trying to get through everyone's video and channel and everything like that. But please make the effort. Please do because, um, you know, all these ladies deserve the love. And, yeah, they're just a really good bunch of ladies. And I've had a great time doing this collab and discussing this on Instagram with them. Yeah, I think that's about it. There's nothing else to be said. Um, guys, check your breasts, please. And if you don't know how to check your breasts properly, Go to your doctor and let them teach you, please. And there are plenty of female doctors and nurses out there if you're uncomfortable speaking to a male about it, um, which is completely normal. Go have a mammogram. If you are eligible to have a free mammogram, just do it. Just do it. If, you, if you're getting letters in the mail saying, you're, you know, it's your time for a, mam for a mammogram, just do it, please. Um, 
you know, a little bit of hurt, you know, for those five or so minutes um, equates to nothing, you know, if it does turn out to be serious and you've left it and left it and left it. So please, ladies, take care of your health. Um, you know, when the money's gone, when everything else in life is gone, if you have your health, that is, you know, number one priority because if, if you don't have your health you can't enjoy everything else in life so yeah anyway that is my message and yeah until next time take care bye guys